Hey everybody, happy Saturday! There's a reason why I'm at Florida Mall at a very early 9 o'clock in the morning. Orlando is known for really kind of like three things. Let's say theme parks, shopping, and what was that third thing again? Oh yeah, boy bands. I'm at Florida Mall because they've kind of combined almost all three of those things together today. Joey Fatone from NSYNC is opening his hot dog stand called Fat Ones. Joey was a member of premier boy band NSYNC with Justin Timberlake and Chris Kirkpatrick. He also worked at Universal Studios once upon a time. And now he's in this shopping mall. Let's go check things out. Interesting tidbit. I was the sixth member of the Backstreet Boys. I don't have a hot dog restaurant though. Here we are, an hour early before this opens. This is his massive hot dog stand. We have armed security here holding the masses down and we actually have a bunch of people that got here early to get hot dogs. We'll probably meet Joey Fatone. So much last minute preparation. Only four people behind the counter though, which is uh, maybe a little concerning. We ran into Meg and Ricky. Yeah, Caitlin yeah. from Hard Rock has brought her shirt. Bought this on Etsy. <laughs> and this is the official line now. 30 minutes before opening. Behind the scenes with the news. <laughs> that woman brought her Joey Fatone doll. I only have Justin Timberlake, so I couldn't bring the doll. The Orlando Sentinel is here taking pictures. Prepping what appears to be some type of meat. Some scallions, and yes, we do have hot dogs. I like that this guy has the boom mic over where they're prepping the food. We need to get all of those food sounds captured. Eight minutes before opening, there's like a kind of a look of terror on everybody's face that's working behind the counter. I can't imagine how they're going to handle this entire line. So the line starts here. They ended this extended queue, goes all the way around, and now the line just continues to keep going, like back beyond the kiosk throughout the mall. Justin Timberlake sent flowers. <laughs> it's very nice of him. This guy's starting the TV. No signal. And that one's horizontal. He's going to put on college football. Nope, Italian Isis. Select song to listen to. Joey Fatone shows Vizio TVs. Also, root folder. So here's the prices. Here's the menu. While well, he's on the thing trying to get that TV to work, it's not working, but here's the menu. I am gonna go for the boy bander because it kind of has a sample of everything else in it. We got Italian ices, beverages, you get the souvenir cup for three bucks, create your own dog, fries, the little Joe. Joey Fatone has stilt walkers in the house. Look at that guy, he's throwing the horns. Got a Dusty Roads type bag. And outside, they are now awaiting the arrival of Joey Fatone. The competition at Five Guys has no line, and the staff is just watching on, perhaps wishing that maybe some customers would grow frustrated with this line and head over for a hamburger. Here comes the parade.
Dreamers. Joey is practicing scooping some Italian ices over here. The team, all prepping. Strategy. You guys stay on the fryer. I'll talk to this older woman over here. Okay, okay. I'll get on ices. You guys get on fries. We're good to go. Let's do this. The official first customer. She just wanted a cup of water. No, no, I can't. <laughs> they have set up a GoPro. I'm guessing so that they can time lapse the day. Joey. Shaking hands. Looking at Beanie Babies. Circa late 90s. It's taken a while to get through customers, but more importantly, the line is now stretched all through the mall. The line's moving a little bit better now. Joey is serving Italian ices, signing autographs, making chit chat. Up north. I'm from Flushing Queens. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nobody, unless they're from up north, orders a chocolate ice. <laughs> no, I know exactly. It's the he best. That's his favorite. Yeah, 100% favorite. So, Joey, we got a YouTube channel. Um, can we get you to say. One of your classic lines from your Max Rebo collaboration. <laughs> Presenting Max Rebo's greatest hits. Neither of us is an elephant. <laughs> We're not elephants. We're not elephants. <laughs> my favorite song of all time. <laughs> we had a question. Sure, sure. Which of the hot dogs is inspired by the werewolf? Which of the hot dogs is inspired by what? By the werewolf. By the werewolf? <laughs> the uh, hot dog. Very <laughs> spicy. Excellent. Which one did you get? I got the boy bander. Oh, nice. sweet. Excellent. Excellent. All right, so this is the boy bander. Five hot dogs in here. Got the Reuben dog. It's a New York hot dog. The hot hot dog. The Cuban. And the Gone Hollywood. All right, we're going to start with the Reuben. It's a hot dog with corned beef, shredded Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, and Thousand Island dressing. The next one up is to New York, which is hot dog, sauerkraut, red onion, and mustard. They're throwing shirts out. By God. To New York. This is legit. It actually tastes like it's in the food. Raised papaya in New York. Absolutely delicious. I think it's fried. All right. This next one is the hot dog. It's with sriracha, Monterey Jack, green onions, sriracha sauce. Check this out. Next one up, Cuban. Beef, Swiss cheese, pickles, yellow mustard. I know already I, I probably am not gonna like this, but we'll try it. Cuban's really good. I like a pressed, a pressed hot dog. You could say I am impressed with this hot dog. The last one is Gone Hollywood. It's beef hot dogs, red mozzarella, guacamole, diced tomatoes, and green onions. Actually, I ate these backwards. This is the sriracha dog. It's very hot. I was wondering why the other one wasn't hot. The one before that I said that was sriracha or the hot dog. That was John Hollywood. So, go me. Yeah, this is cool. Now that the line is so long, they're coming by and giving out like Italian ice samples to try to keep everybody happy. Because the line does stretch like all the way through the mall at this point. It's got to be at least like two, three hours long for a hot dog. Now Joey's going to visit people online to keep them happy. 
He's giving out Italian ice samples. Now we've got a DJ booth set up. The girl over there has hula hoops, like we're in a theme park or something. There he goes, back to work. The film crew behind him for this momentous occasion. Security guard keeping everything in check here, keeping the peace. We have DJ action. They're interviewing Caitlin. Our crossover, the Teletubbies are here. Time for Tubby Custard or Italian Isis. It's like a huge battle royal is going to take place in the food court today. So we're at 1230 at this point. There has to be a couple thousand people waiting in line here now. Keep in mind, this is just the overflow line. All right, we're getting ready to get out of here, but thought I'd show you where the line is. I'm still over here. Joey is now out in front by the cash register talking to people instead of doing the Italian ices. The people that we marked over in this section, uh, when we were eating our hot dogs, was about two and a half hours ago and they were over there. So the line's probably about like three to four hours long, I guess. I am heading out. Excellent adventure, really good hot dogs, and actually a really good time today. Hey, back home, that was a lot of fun. And by the way, Fat Ones is located in Florida Mall. And before folks ask, if you're traveling from out of state and you're visiting Florida and you wanna know how far Florida Mall is from the parks, um, it's roughly the same distance to the airport. Florida Mall is closely located to um, Orlando International, at least reasonably close. So. That should give you an idea of where the placement is at least but on that note i'm gonna say goodbye for now so thank you for all of your likes thank you for your comments thank you for your subscriptions treat others the way you want to be treated have a great night we'll see you guys